Hello, YouTube. What a mess. This drill, the clutch shucked out. No matter what you did, you, you'd have to hold it where it had the little symbol where it said for drilling without the clutch. You'd have to hold it with a gloved hand. It was junk. I had it two years. Used it. Uh, this is you could not get it apart when you took it in half. So the whole clutch housing, that big thing, that would have to come apart. So I just broke the drill apart. You can see where I've chopped, drained it, did everything. To get down to this, now we've had this part in the vise because we, we're going to cut it off, and that has a wrench thing on it, and we just gave up because that doesn't matter. We are going to repurpose this to use in our wall drill. We got lucky this is a half inch diameter exactly. Now if it wouldn't have been, I'd have to give up. Now if I could have got this off, I could have laid this, laid, machine this down. But we got lucky it's a half inch. And that's what fits in the hand drill. Those drill bits for the old hand drill, which I'll go over there and show you the little bolt on it here soon, had a flat spot. So every drill bit was this size where it went in the chuck. You had the little square headed bolt, you tighten down a flat spot. And there you went. So now we're going to be able to use three eighths of smaller bits on the hand drill because this still works. It will slip. This was so cheap and junky that even if you had to bit with the three flat sides on it, it will still slip in there. I finally shucked everything out, making my last stove project. So we're off to get another drill. This time we're going to buy a half inch drill without a clutch in it. So. We'll pause here and we'll cut this off and we'll show you the hand drill. Okay. We ground a flat on there. We cut the other piece off of there. It will only go up to the line because this is a little bit bigger. We're not going to jam anything up in there. It will still work. Next we'll show you it in the drill and a little bolt where it tightens against that. Okay, here's a little bolt tightened on the flat spot. We put a sharpie mark on there. Marker line. Now we can use this for all kinds of woodworking. I do have a video on this. It should be called Wall Mounted Hand Crank Drill. If you look at my search box on my channel. There we go. Put this to work. I want to drill wood, but I don't think we'll ever use it on metal, but That advances your bit. That going around, clicks it, runs on a cam there. There's your crank. You got an idler gear, which I'd call this an idler gear, because this one goes to the big flywheel. I have seen these repurposed with a motor on it. I won't do that to this. I don't want to wear it out. There is marks in the back of this where it says 1923 in Roman numerals, but there you go. It doesn't go all the way up in there. The only way to do that is I'm not going to try to grind it down. It has to be laid down and polished or something. It's a little bit bigger right in here the way it was made, but there you go. Now we can use it for any kind of bit we want now. Take it out. Said so you flip this lever back. Raise your bit. See that's pulling up off the bit there. And that's how that works. Said so I do have a better video of this. Just look at my search box. There we go. I'm a happy man. Now I can use this for more woodworking stuff. Thanks for watching.